me guys, Gary here with Gary Klein Photography and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today is September the 1st, so living here in central Ontario, I've already noticed this last couple of days a change in the weather. Uh, we've changed from summer, or it seems that way, until fall or an early fall. Now it is a little early this year, uh, normally we don't get this cool weather um, until much later in the year but right now we're just having a little bit of a cold spell but anyhow having said that um, today we are going to photograph and videograph the wreck of the luck port now the luck port is a shipwreck uh, it was 20 126 feet long it was built in 1880 and it sank in 1934 it sank uh, due to a fire um, what caused the fire I don't know and how she ended up uh, lying where she lies today I don't know that either so there, I have some un unanswered questions about this particular shipwreck but as you know already if you've seen some of my other YouTube channels especially the ones on the underwater photography um, you'll know that I do like underwater photography again that's where photography started for me and even though we do many things in photography, landscapes, weddings, portraits, commercial, real estate, event, all kinds of things in photography, I have a true passion for underwater photography. And that's what we're gonna do today. So we're driving up to an area uh, called Awenda Park. Now this is a provincial park here in Ontario. Um, it's on the North Penetanguishene Peninsula. Now that peninsula is a peninsula that pushes out into Georgian Bay. This particular wreck, <coughs> excuse me, this particular wreck lies about 30 feet offshore in some kind of private residential type areas along the shoreline, shoreline of some really nice homes there. Uh, but there is a path down to a small rocky beach that I can go down that path gear up, I can get myself my dive gear and my underwater cameras into the water there and we can actually get to the wreck from there. It is a little bit of a swim. So having said that, that's what we're going to do. So again, we're going to photograph and videograph the wreck of the luck board. It's interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, for those of you that are interested in the gear, Today, for the underwater photography, I'm going to be using my Canon 550D or T2i. That will be situated in a Mekong housing. Um, I'll have that all sit sitting on a shark, what we call a shark fin uh, camera tray. I have one strobe. I'll have two Archon A6 video lights. For the underwater, and that's for the stills. For the underwater video, I'll be using my GoPro Hero 3 Black Plus Edition. And the tool I'm using right now, or the camera I'm using right now to record the top side or any video that's not underwater, that is my uh, GoPro uh, 5 uh, Black Edition. So that's the gear we're going to be using. Um, I have got myself a cup of coffee, as you know, by now I always have a cup of coffee uh, because it's always a drive to where I'm going. We're about an hour away from the location that I'm going to dive today. So you know what? I'm going to sit back, I'm going to enjoy the drive. It is a sunny day, even though it's a little chilly, it's still nice and sunny out, so that's okay. I'm going to enjoy the drive up to Awenda Park. Hey, thank you for joining me. Let's get up there, let's have a look. I'll talk to you when we're there. Let's enjoy the ride. destination and there's a trail here that leads us down to the water side so we're gonna head down that trail and have a little look 
uh, just see what the dive site looks like today. So here we go inside the trail. Yeah, it's actually a it's actually a neat little trail <laughs> uh, through the forest here. But we're going to follow this until uh, we get to. Uh, the water side which is a small kind of rocky beach uh, but this is a public trail um, so people can come down here uh, yeah it's, it's actually pretty cool I have been here just once before um, so it's pretty cool down here there's a little bridge here it has a little stream that runs through it Although there's not much water running down the stream today. Well, it's okay. We're going to carry on. Make a left turn. Over the rocks we go. And down the trail. So now we can see the water. Now this is Georgian Bay. Uh, part of Lake Huron. It really is interesting here. So yeah, see, pretty cool. I don't think many people actually know about this at all, to be honest with you. Um, I think this location is so secluded, I don't know if anybody knows about it. Um, well, I'm sure people do, but I certainly didn't until somebody else told me. But out into the bay here, I'm going to point to a flagpole. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction to that flagpole. Just up that flagpole, 30 or 40, maybe 50 feet out, lies the wreck of the Luck Port. Right about where I'm pointing. So this is going to be our entry point right here. Um, Pretty simple, there's a few rocks, but it's a pretty simple entry point. It's not a deep dive. We might only be talking 20 feet as well, maybe 30 feet, I'm not sure. But it's not a particularly deep dive. Um, so the entry point looks great. Hey, yeah, let's, um, let's go back to the car. Let's get geared up. Let's come on down here. Let's get in the water. Let's fire up the cameras. And let's see what we can find because it's going to be good. Oh, 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 before I forget, before I forget, today I want to give a big shout out to my newest uh, subscriber all the way from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, Gabs. Hey Gabs, welcome to my world. Thank you. Okay. It's actually a great day and it's warming up now quite nicely, um, so we're doing okay. Thank you. 